Hello students. So in this module, we'll be dealing with hindbrain or rhombencephalon. And in hindbrain, we'll be taking care of cerebellum in this module. Now first, let's see where is your hindbrain. That's your hindbrain. It comprises of three parts. The first part is called as cerebellum. Right ahead, it's pons, the second part of hindbrain. Below pons is the last part called as medulla oblongata. In this module, students, we'll be talking only about cerebellum. Now, cerebellum is this structure, students. So, where is it present in your brain? This is the side view of brain. So, cerebellum is present right below the occipital lobe or you can also say it's present behind the medulla. Now, let's see what is the structure of cerebellum. How does it look like externally as well as internally? Externally, it has got two lateral lobes which are known as cerebellar hemispheres. And right in between is a worm-like lobe which is known as vermis. The median lobe is called as vermis. Now, cerebellum students, it comprises of a 11% of the total brain weight. This is the second largest part of the brain and which is the largest part of the brain? That being cerebrum. Cerebellum students, outside has got folds which are known as folia. Cerebellum, let's see how it looks inside when we cut the section of cerebellum. It looks like this. These are two halves of the cerebellum. Now, what are these two halves? The outer peripheral region is known as cerebellar cortex and it is made up of gray matter. Whereas, inner called as cerebellar medulla is made up of white matter. But white matter in the structure as you can see students is in the form of a branching tree like structure. And that branching tree-like structure is called as arbor vitae, known as tree of life. Arbor vitae, an important structure. Let's see how it actually in real brain looks like. It looks like this. This is arbor vitae, the internal structure, white matter, of cerebellum. Students, what is the function of cerebellum? Important functions which are coordination of voluntary muscles, also maintaining your equilibrium. That means what? That means it helps develop motor skills, the movement, yes, like walking or even finer skills like knitting. Now, there is a very well-trained cerebellum in this picture. Let's observe. Now, you can see the coordination of voluntary muscles and maintaining equilibrium to beautifully trained cerebellum in here. Cerebellum students is highly sensitive to alcohol. Alcohol makes a person lose the two important functions of cerebellum, coordination of muscular movements and loss of equilibrium. So when cerebellum is affected by alcohol, this is the impact of alcohol on cerebellum, loss of equilibrium and coordination of muscles. 
in law, it's a criminal offense to be driving under the influence of alcohol. So in this module, students, we took care of cerebellum. Next module, we'll be studying pons veruli as well as medulla oblongata. Till then, take care.